Hi, the OIR. It's Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to show you how to connect a siren, we're going to use a strobe today, to a Qolsys 16F, which is a hardwired to wireless converter, and we're going to have this run from our system, our IQ2. What we're basically going to do, we have a strobe right here, we have this connected to our hardwired 16F, we're going to program this into our IQ2 over here, and then we're going to activate the strobe using our IQ2. The Qolsys 16F is a great device to use. It converts hardwired zones into wireless zones and then lets your uh, IQ2 pick them up. So it saves a ton of time with installation. And really one of the biggest benefits to this, uh, to this device is that you can attach a hardwired siren to the unit. Today we have a strobe on there and you're gonna see that the strobe doesn't work as well as a siren, but it really it's meant for a siren to be connected to it just to give you another point of sound if there's an alarm that occurs in the house. Now there's a couple particular steps that you have to do to get this programmed into the system. As you can see, we already have connected our strobe to the device, and these go on these two terminals right down here. You'll see in the installation manual, it points this out clearly, but it's to the, the negative goes to the ground and the positive goes to the out under siren. Then there's a jumper that's going from aux on the out portion to the in on the siren portion. As long as we have that set up, our siren should activate. Now, this learns in like any other wireless device. So on the system, I'm gonna slide down from the top and click on settings, advanced settings. Enter user code. Our default code is 2222. Click on installation, devices, security sensors, and then auto learn sensor. Now, the 16F, we actually have to take the tamper wire out of the terminal and then reinsert it to get it to be picked up by the system. The first thing that I have to do to get this to learn to the system is click the EOL button over here on the right. So I'm gonna press that down, and then I'm gonna let go when I see this light illuminate. Now what I have to do is I actually have to remove the tamper jumper from one of the terminals to get it to learn into the system. So I'm going to loosen up one of those terminals. And as you can see, when the connection became loose, the wire moved and the system picked up the 16F. So I'm just going to retighten up this terminal on our tamper. And then I'm going to say OK on the system. And on here, what I want to do is I want to change the sensor type to a hardwired translator. With that set, we're really good to go. I'm going to click on Add New. Sensor added successfully. And as you can see, the 16F was programmed into the system. So now if I click Home to go back, when I do a siren test on the system, we should see this strobe illuminate. I'm going to slide down from the top, click on settings, do advanced settings, Enter user code. 2222, system tests, panel test, scroll down, sirens. And there you go. As you can see, the strobe doesn't really work that well with the 16F, but you can hear that little relay clicking quickly. That's actually the relay for the siren if you had one connected to the system. Now, before you go out and purchase a 16F for your IQ2, you're gonna wanna make sure that the RF pick version of your IQ2 is at least 11.1.4 G2 or higher. If it's below that, there's nothing you can do. You actually can't update this to get it up to a higher version. You have to purchase the system that is, a, this, that is this version or higher to use the 16F with it. To check to see if your system is of that version or not though, on our system, we're gonna click the back arrow. We're gonna click the back arrow. 
And then, actually, we'll just go back to the main menu to show you exactly where this is. Main menu, slide down from the top, do settings, advanced Enter settings, 2222. I'm going to click on about. I'm going to go to hardware. And if I scroll down, you'll see the RF PIC version is right here, and our system is 11.1.5 G26, which tells us that this system is compatible with the, uh, the Qualsys 16F. If you do have any questions though about connecting a siren to the 16F, the Qualsys system or alarm systems in general, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com, or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below, and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.